Hey everyone. Hey. Hi, Carmen. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Very well. Thanks so much for your time. No problem. <laughs> so, Mila, I'm going to start with you. Um, I can imagine that making a movie like Monster Hunter must feel like uh, a childhood dream becoming a reality. So, I was wondering how important is it, you know, to to keep your inner child alive in order to fully enjoy it, and how do you make sure to never let it go away? Um, you know, I, I definitely, I definitely think, um, I definitely think that's important, and I, I feel like the the career that the careers that both of us have makes it very easy to keep the inner child alive because we're we're constantly making these super fun movies and. Playing dress up. And, yeah, playing dress up and, and um, you know, going into these other fantasy worlds. So we always have so much fun together. Right. And Paul, um, while making the Resident Evil movies, what did you learn about video game adaptations that helped you getting Monster Hunter right as well? Um, well, you know, I think what I've always tried to do is um, I. I've tried to please an audience that know nothing about the video games while also trying to please the audience that know everything about the video games. And that can be very, that's a very fine line that you try and walk to please both audiences. Because if you, if you just go for the fans of the game, then you exclude everybody else and people, they feel excluded. They go, oh, I don't really know anything about the world. This isn't for me. But then if you ignore the fans, then obviously the fans are really upset because they have like 15 years worth of investment in their favorite game and they want to see that reflected on screen. So pleasing both audiences can be very difficult. And um, what I learned was probably the best way to do it is to really embrace the creators of the video game and work with them as closely as possible. And that's exactly what I did on Monster Hunter. I worked very, very closely with the director and the producer of the video game, you know, the men who actually created this world in the first place. And they had massive input into the movie. You know, they even kind of gave me notes about the fingernails of the monster. Oh, you know, real fine detail that you wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. So if you're a fan of the game, you will watch the movie and it, it will be the game come to life, you know, um, on the big right. screen. But then also I made a movie where if you know nothing about video games, you can still come and enjoy, you know, a fantastic action adventure movie and immerse yourself in this fantastical world for two hours. Right. And obviously this is not the first time that you worked together on a movie. So uh, I remember, you know, I remember my father working with his brothers and that didn't go that well, you know. <laughs> so they love each other, but working together, no. So I was wondering, uh, how is it for you? Do you always 100% agree with each other on a movie set or do you spit some fire sometimes like, like Rattalos does? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, for me, I, I, you know, I think Paul is so smart and listen, my job is to be there to support him, you know, as an actor, you know, you're there to help the director make their dreams come true, you know, so I, you know, I'm, I'm very open to being told to do something differently, um, you know, to try something else. So it's, it's very rare that, you know, I, I mean, it's his movie. So, you know, it's funny because the actress once asked me, like, you know, Paul came up and he was like, no, 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 no do it, try something else, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, I can't believe you let him talk to you like that. Like if my <laughs> husband said that to me, I would just, argue with him the whole time and tell him why I need to do it exactly like I need to do it. I'm like, I mean, honestly, it's his movie, you know. Right. <laughs> you know, he's just doing what he wants. But um, you know, I yes, there are disagreements, but I mean I think, you know, as a film director, what you try and do is you try and hire the best people you can, the best actors, yes. roles. And then I'm not an actor and I really appreciate what actors do. I can't do it. Um, so I, if, if they have disagreements with me or they throw out ideas, you know, I'd be foolish to ignore them, you know, because, <laughs> you know, the Mila, Mila and Tony in this movie, for example, they came up with some magic between them. They had such wonderful chemistry and a lot of the kind of humor between them is, was improvised. You know, they came up with that by themselves and it's really fun as a director to kind of, establish these characters and then see the actors run with them, create 
something much better than anything I could have imagined in the first place. Absolutely. Mila, Paul, my time is up. Thank you so much for your time. Let me just tell you this, Resident Evil is my favorite franchise of all time. So uh, this is my childhood dream becoming a reality. So thank you very much and all the best with Monster Hunter. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye.